Welcome to our EOC test prep series, Math Family, where we break down exam questions from start to finish that you'll see on the EOC, SAT, GRE, or any exams. In episode two today, we're looking at the side length of a square and we're trying to figure out what is the area. So not only are we dealing with area, we're also dealing with properties of exponents. So let's just draw a diagram. We know that one side of the square is 4x to the third, yz to the fourth. Now, just remember that area of a square is equal to s squared. So if we take this side and we square it, we can get our answer. Now, family, the reason why you or any students will get this wrong is because you forget properties of exponents, right? So let's say we square this and we just forgot. So we multiplied everything. We mixed our exponent rules with our regular multiplication rules. So what that mean? We multiply everything. So four times two is eight. Three times two is X to the six. One times two is Y squared. And Z and Z to the fourth times two is Z to the eighth. So you could easily get this answer. But family, that is wrong. That is not the correct answer. Let's say if we went back over now and we did something different. So let's say we go through now, right? And we square everything. So I say, okay, four squared is 16, three squared is nine. We take one to the second power, let's just say that's one, and then we square uh, z to the fourth to get z to the 16th. That is wrong too. So do you see how you could easily get this wrong? Now, the correct way to do this is that we're gonna square the coefficient, multiply the exponent. So four squared is 16, Three times two gives me X to the six. Y to the first times two is Y squared. And four times two gives me Z to the eighth. So my actual correct answer should be B. Now let's say, right, let's say that we did not remember this, right? Or we didn't use this way to solve it. What's another way we could do this? Well, we know that what? Area is normally equal to length times width. So let's say we took this, right? Area is equal to what? 4x to the third, yz to the fourth, and we multiply it by itself, right? So we could do it this way. And then now we're following properties of exponents where we're gonna add our exponents that have the same base. So now we look at four times four, right? That's 16. 3 plus 3 gives me x to the 6. 1 plus 1 gives me y squared. And 4 and 4 for z gives me z to the 8th. So let's say you didn't remember the first method of s squared and you wrote it like this. Just remember your properties of exponents. When to multiply the exponents versus when to add them when they have the same base. We really hope that this EOC test prep series video was helpful for you guys today. Just remember... Not only to smash the like button for us and comment down below, but let us know if there's any other topics or questions you want us to review for this series. Or you could also email us a picture of the specific problem you guys want us to go over. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on our EOC test prep series with Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.